Hey, it's Mike. I'm back. Okay, so hopefully, um, you know, your job didn't uh, pull you too many ways from Sunday um, today. But we got to get through this. So relax, settle in. The coffee's available in the lounge. Um, and, and let's see if we can stay focused. Uh, we'll be out of here um, as soon as possible. But uh, your boss obviously demands that you come here for this class. So I would uh, I'll take the recommendation. Using keynotes. Keynotes are annotations that use a parameter to connect specific elements or materials in the model to descriptive information stored in an external TXT file. Now, we talked about that in the last video. Now, if we look at this, right, and it's by division, procurement and contracting requirements. And as you can see, there are keynotes that are assigned to all sorts of uh, construction methodologies as well as materials. And as you can see just by the scroll bar on the right side of the screen, it's relatively lengthy, right? Standard 30 by eight one-way floor joist system, deep set 10 by 12 one-way floor joist system, now uh, two-way floor joist system, uh, concrete precast rectangular columns, uh, again, Concrete topping slabs, uh, mortar types, sealants, wire column anchors, PVC joints, brick, block, Roman solid rowlock with half joint. You masons will love this. We'll use wet masons that are so weathered from all that line where you're all wrinkled up like a raisin <laughs> working in that environment all your life. How would you like to be able to sit down at a desk in the, in the shanty and, and not have to go out and shovel all that mud on the on the wall. You know, this isn't an insurmountable task for you. When I was a laborer, one of the masons told me my best bet would be to get out of the laboring business. And I listened. <laughs> After 10 years, it took me 10 years, but I was in the best shape of my life. So I'm not, not gonna knock them. Some of them will love it and they'll never leave the trowel. They'll never put the trowel down. And that actually is a method of applying certain concrete, the trowel down method. In any event, I'm not a mason. I'm something else. I'm a guy just, I'm just a guy with an attitude problem. <laughs> That's all. What do you do for a living? I uh, try to keep people from having a problem with my attitude problem. <laughs> all right, I'm just trying to keep this uh, bubbly. Um, okay, so we're gonna, um, we're gonna move towards assigning keynotes and editing. A core concept of the keynote tool is how the notes react with the mo within the model. And sometimes they react differently. I know I, I've reacted uh, a certain way in the model. I've seen other folks react ways in the model as well. <laughs> and the older I get, the more I start to see the, my younger self in some of these folks. And I, I see that what's gonna happen to them. And I, just, I, I actually hope it don't, but I could see the level of frustration that's building uh, you know, in some of them. So uh, very important how notes react within the model when you go into these models. Watch your mouth, right? Watch your mouth. It's in your best interest. And this is more geared towards the blue collar folks out there. It just seems much more prevalent in the blue collar realm. So once they get that tie on, <laughs> they, they do make the transition into the white collar world, they bring a lot of bad habits with them, present company included. But I can mind my manners. In any event, can you? We'll see. <laughs> okay, so that's the core concept, right? Isn't that the core concept of building collaboration, minding your manners, and how you react within the model? All right, I'm doing it again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't tell, don't tell your boss. I'll get in trouble. Don't tell my boss I'm doing this again. I'll get fired again. <laughs> All right, a core concept of the keynote tool is how the notes react within the model. Assigning a keynote to an object lets you associate a text or a numeric value with a family's keynote type parameter. This value is consistent for every instance of that element within the model or project. For example, all walls have a type parameter called keynote that lets you set the keynote value. If you keynote a wall anywhere within the model, 
excuse me, the keynote value in the type parameter will reflect that note. Consequently, any other wall of that type will be pre-populated with the keynote with that keynote value. Changes to this keynote value will dynamically update the type parameter value and update any keynotes placed within the model tagged to this wall. All keynotes within a project are tied to an external TXT file, which we saw. This, this TXT file is the only location where the value of the keynotes can be edited. You can modify this file at any point to add or remove keynotes. And you can make the edits while the project is actively open. And hold on a second. Figure 19.3 shows a sample of that file, which I have opened again, and I'll show it to you again because I actually like this file. 10 by 8 by 16 round fluted CMU. Oh, I feel like I'm down at Home Depot. Hold on, let's go through it again. Let's go through a little more. Nuts and bolts. Look at all the nuts and bolts. Oh, Lord knows. Any, anyone worth their salt. We're in Division 5 for you iron workers and you metal, uh, metal heads. C brackets. They could have used this at Comstock, <laughs> but they didn't. <laughs> they probably aren't, but the MTA is going to clean house. Oh, my Lord. I can only imagine the, the aneurysm they're going to have out in Farmingdale. Okay, so let's just go through this. Ah, ah, ANSI. ASTM steel, right? ASTM steel. It'd be nice if, if, if we had the book to see the dimensions. These, uh, you know, I, I'm going to go on a tangent. These are important in coordination. You need to know the size of these because a lot of times they're not going to give you the underside of the beam to the finished floor. And you think you can run whatever you want anywhere within the building. And you're going to be going up and down the haunch if you're not careful. So just letting you know. Uh, just a word of advice from a man who's seen uh, them try to make the electricians <laughs> bend over backwards because the mantra is that an electrician can find their way around anything. And this is what they tell me. <laughs> and they write it off as that's the case. And it's true. I've seen some very creative methods of being able to get conduit up and down and around and through a building, very creative ways that only a seasoned electrician would know. And this, I, and I'm not one of them. I won't profess to be something I'm not. I won't profess to be something I'm not. Uh, like I said, I'm just a guy with issues that has a small attitude problem and has been subjected to rem remnant magnetic fields. I'm not an electrician. All right, so let's get out of this. is a very long section. Now, obviously, you can see we have a lot. And I have to stick to my mantra, right? We can't go through this forever. I have to stick to my mantra or I'm just blowing smoke. So that text file, we can edit it and add things to it, right? Um, that was a sample of it. This external file is designated or designed to keep the annotations consistent by storing them in one repository. Every time you add or change a note value and reload the text file back into the model, all the keynotes dynamically update, and then you, all you do is want to talk shop all day. You can edit this text file or add one to the project at any time. You can have multiple keynote files for various projects, but you can have only one text file associated with the project at, any, uh, at a time. You cannot assign multiple keynote files to one project mile, uh, model. You cannot assign multiple keynote files to one project model. Managing keynotes. A great way to ensure consistent use of notes throughout multiple projects is to create a master keynote file for each of your various project types. This master note list can be linked to elements and materials within your project template so that you can immediately begin inserting common notes into any project. Because this master list will likely be quite long, project teams can make a copy of the list and place it in their project directory. That disturbed me. I'm disturbed, um, startled. I was startled by my ringtone. <laughs> Directory assistance. Maybe someone clicked the website. 
they can then safely delete the notes they won't be using over the course of the project, giving them fewer options to hunt through when they need to add a keynote. A single keynote file also gives project management a level of control over the consistency of the notes that you won't be able to get if you use regular text. I'm chuckling, and you know I don't want to show my grill. <laughs> when I smile, it's like I have a mouthful of dice. I have summer teeth. You can ask uh, some folks what summer teeth are. Spelling accidents or mislabeling can happen in a project when you use regular text objects. And I'm, I'm a, a very good example of that. Speed will misspell words. So you can, you speed will. If you're rushing all day long, you'll spell things wrong. And you'll drive yourself nuts. You'll print a, out a drawing set, and it's like 4.30, and this nonchalant project manager who did nothing all day, uh, but take clients out to lunch, <laughs> all happy-go-lucky, as he's walking out the door, he'll take a look at your drawings that you busted your ass on for three days, and let you know that you spelled one thing wrong, and he wants you to reprint the whole set, and you'll blow a gasket. You'll blow a gasket. But you know what? What are you going to do? Say no. You can, you made a mistake. We don't make mistakes, right? No, we don't make mistakes. We triple, quadruple check our work and hope that we don't make a mistake like that so that some over, over zealous, ridiculous project management presses a button <laughs> that makes you want to self-destruct. <laughs> I'm sure I'm not alone. I know I'm not alone. Uh, there's no way, not from what I've seen. For example, it's easy to overlook a note that reads CIP concrete on one detail and cast in place concrete in another. By placing all the notes into one file, the project manager or project architect has better control over how the note reads, thus ensuring consistency throughout all the sheets and details. Now, let me just, um, let me finish this last paragraph and end this one, um, because there's lots of nomenclature. There's lots of nomenclature, lots of abbreviations. If, you, if anyone has ever seen a mechanical set of drawings, there are a lot of abbreviations. Condensate, cold water supply, cold water return. All of those, and, and some are industry standard, and sometimes you get a set of drawings, they make them up. And you're like, well, what is that last project? That acronym meant something else. And so, again, consistency is key. Um, consistency is key. And not everyone speaks eloquent English, and, and they make mistakes. That doesn't necessarily prohibit them from uh, coming over here. Uh, and again, I am pointing this out to immigrants. They have a, sometimes, there's a, it's a, it's a language barrier. And, but we want the money. Money is currency. If it's come over here to spend money, and wants to spend money, well, teach them how to speak English so they can spend more of it. This, we should be prohibiting, folks. I grant it, grant it, grant it. There are lots of uh, individuals here that have been going cradle to grave on illicit funds. So, again, there needs to be strict regulation on that. They are going to cradle the grave on illicit funds while your kids starved to death. <laughs> Just let you know. But, again, we're in the business of hospitality, right? The United States is a service industry. Think of it as a hotel. If you think of the United States as a service industry for hire and mercenaries for hire, then you'd be better off. Uh, because the American dream is uh, something that you may have to be asleep to actually understand. Anyway, I'm just playing. That was a quote from George Carlin, one of my favorite comedians. Because the keynote list is a separate TXT file, if you're transferring files to other offices or clients, you may need to include the TXT file along with the RVT file. If you don't send the TXT file, others will be able to see all your keynotes, but they won't be able to change or edit any of them. And that goes for other files that some uh, folks should have sent over early in my career when I was green. Okay, so we're going to be getting into using the keynote file uh, later. But it said that we need to keep these files short so that someone's looking for a solution that's under the gun that is going to be getting uh, laid off because they're not producing fast enough. They can find a resource that, that doesn't say 45 minutes to explain. 
because if, if it takes 45 minutes to explain, they get they panic and they look for the, the three minute video or the two minute video. Someone that can give it to them concisely within the parameters of the time constraints that they're under. So if I draw on and on and on, granted, I'll achieve watch time, but I won't be able to help anybody. And um, then, you know, what kind of life is that? <laughs>